Cleaning a litho plate. So your plates, when you get them, will have uh, some oxidization on top of them, which means that basically they've just been rusting. Uh, because from the time that they we receive them to the time that you're going to use them, right? Metal rusts. It's exposed to mo it's exposed to moisture, um, and so we need to make sure that we get rid of that that fine film of rust before we start. So I'm going to start off. I'm going to do this all at the sink. I'm gonna use a piece of plexi that I'm gonna rinse off really well because I don't know what was on there before. Um, and then I'm gonna use that suction from the water to keep the aluminum plate in place. So I'll start then by rinsing off the aluminum plate and I'm gonna drain off the excess water by just tilting the plexi. And then the next thing I need to do is mix up my counter etch solution. This is going to be what I use to clean the plate. So it's a quarter teaspoon citric acid to 300 milliliters of water, preferably warm water. And the containers we have in the shop should have measurements on the side so you know which, uh, how much water you're actually putting in there. The citric acid is a powder. You want to be careful not to get extra water in there. So I'm using that quarter teaspoon. It's the only measurement in that container. You're going to put that into the the warm water, the 300 milliliters, put the lid on and we're going to mix this up really well. So you just want to shake it pretty violently, make sure this lid is on here pretty tight. Um, and then once I do that, I'm going to be cleaning the surface with some soft cotton pads. Uh, the cotton pads is going to take, uh, we're going to use one third of this solution at a time. So I'm going to start by dumping the first third on here. and the citric acid is a really mild cleaner, so when I scrub it with these pads, uh, I'm, I'm scrubbing, I'm putting a decent amount of pressure, but it's not so much that I'm, I'm going to scratch the plate. I wouldn't want to have any rings on or sharp nails uh, or just be careful of those things. So I'm making sure I'm hitting this whole plate evenly to try to remove that layer of rust from the surface of the plate. And when you see after I get over this entire surface, uh, you'll see already, if, if you caught a glance of that there, that the pad is pretty dark gray to start. And that just means that it's picking up all that powder from the start. So once this pad gets really kind of thick and gross or it just starts kind of crumbling on me, then I'm going to switch over to a new fresh clean pad so that I'm not just smearing this dust around the surface. See how gross that thing is and I'm gonna get a new pad and I'm just gonna clean up the rest of this as much as I can from that first third what we should see as I continue to use thirds of this and new pads that there's less and less gray showing up on that pad so after I've done that first scrub I'm gonna rinse this off well once again tilt the plexi to drain off the excess water and now apply the second third of that solution to the plate and kind of repeat that process. So I'm gonna scrub with one pad. Once that one gets gross, then I'm gonna switch over to the next pad. You can tell I'm also like being careful about where I'm putting my hands on the plate. My hands should be clean, but you don't wanna be placing your hands right in the middle of the plate if you happen to have grease on it, or you just want to be careful in general about where you put your finger. So you can see I'm always putting it on the edge. So after that third, once again, rinse, tilt, and apply the final solution. So I can just dump the rest of this container on at this point because I'm not going to use the rest of that etch or that counter etch for anything. So uh, when you see what I'm done scrubbing, this one you can already tell a little bit when it slows down that that pad no longer looks as dark gray as the others and I can tell that most of that that oxidization is gone off the plate. And you can see the difference between the first one and the second one here. So I want that oxidization gone so that it's not blocking any of the grease when I start drawing on the plate. So I'm going to rinse this off really well and then it's important that these steps here you start to do them pretty quickly so uh, because I don't want it to start rusting again in the short time that it takes me to to move this to get it completely dry so rinse it off really well 
tilt it, try to drain off as much water as I can here at the sink. And then I'm gonna wanna move it over to a clean space after this where I have uh, already torn down some newsprint, some clean newsprint to dry this off quickly. So I'm gonna take a sheet of newsprint and I'm gonna put it over top of the plate and then I'm just gonna blot over the surface to try to make sure that I'm pulling off as much excess water as I can. I'll move this to a clean, dry spot and then I'm gonna get a new sheet of paper and use that to do the finishing touches to make sure that most of that water is off. And then from there, I can fan it dry with one of the litho fans in the shop. You can spin it or do the Southern Bell fan, it's up to you. But I wanna make sure that all the water is off this. And so after that, uh, the surface of this plate is gonna be even more receptive to grease because I don't have anything any dust or powder on it. So I'm gonna to wanna to make a little cover out of newsprint for this. So I'm gonna put this face down on a sheet of clean newsprint. And then I can use the, the crisp edge of the plate to kind of tear this to the exact size that I want. So you just pull it towards the edge of the plate and you're just gonna do this completely around the entire side. Make sure you're adding pressure to the area where you're tearing so that this stays exactly the same size as your plate. The excess newsprint from this, we can just throw into one of the recycle bins or trash bins. And then I'm gonna use the tape that I have laid out here to secure this to the surface of the plate. So while it's face down, I'm just grabbing the newsprint underneath, taking a piece of masking tape, taking, putting it over the edge and securing that to the back. So that way it's not, it's not gonna go anywhere or slide around on me. This just protects the surface so that I wouldn't get any grease or dust on top of it afterwards to make sure that it stays really clean so that when I do draw on it, the grease is only where I want it. So the next video is drawing materials.